Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Elden Ring. Alright, so our next stop. So this general area is pretty much good for the time being. Um, not until I get some keys, that are st stone daggers or whatever to open um, what's in here. And I don't exactly intend on doing that. As a caster, it might be doable, but I don't want to do it right now. Um, obviously, progression's this way, through the gate. Um, even if we get beyond here, there's still more things to explore here as well. Um, other options... We can do... Obviously, we can head start da continuing down this way, which gives us some options as well. Um, I think I want to head down this direction. Yeah, I think that's... yeah, we'll do that. Um, we're gonna teleport here first, though. For no particular reason. Alright, so we got the peasant group there. I'm so used to having a halberd and being able to just kill things one hit on mount. Okay. Oh, we definitely need to get that. Got it. Alright, that got us determination. As well as some unwanted intention. Okay. Yeah, these guys have daggers and they attack a bit quick. All right. And since we're at the bridge, I'm just gonna check to see if this is the bridge. I don't think it is. I'm fairly certain this is not the bridge that the painting was talking about. Definitely not. How close are we to the... Okay, it's taking too long. All right, change of plans. Uh, we're gonna go rest. It's actually faster, faster to teleport here. So there is something here that we need to do, but to do it, it needs to be nighttime. with the bats. We're just gonna loop around this way. All right. So there's a marauder, a mountain marauder up here. Now there's not. So I fought this, trying to fight this not mounted, uh, not really doable. Uh, he's super mobile, as you can see.
Um, unlike the previous boss that we fought that was mounted, uh, this one you can kill the horse. Um, but he can resummon his horse with a nasty AoE attack on top of it. And that nearly killed me in one shot. Yeah, I think at this... His horse is blocking most of the shots is the problem. If I can get to him, it's doable. But... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Ooh, that's bad. <sighs> what was that shot? So I have one charge left of Cerulean Tears. And he despawned. He's still gonna have the same health, but he does reappear back on the bridge. Yeah, and now I'm about to die. And I'm not going to have enough magic to kill him. Alright. I wanted to see where I was at. Um, obviously I can use my sword and try to kill him that way. Uh, but it's pretty hard. Because you don't want to trade hits with them. As you can see, I can barely survive one hit from him. Okay. So that's a wash. We're not going to worry about that. I don't remember what he even drops. But in any case, uh, we'll just ignore him for now. And uh, we're going to head down that way. So, nothing of note. So get on out of here. Uh, I'll worry about getting. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about that later. <laughs> Like I said, there's a chest in th on that carriage. Um, I think it's a battle axe. I don't remember exactly, though. But it's definitely not something I need. I'll get it later. So usually I just go around this area with my halberd and just slaughter everything, but... That's going to take too much effort, so I'm just going to go around. Uh, so around this potential area, I don't know where it comes from. No idea where it comes from. But um, I've had situations where I've run, in, I've run into a giant Kodiak bear that just comes out of nowhere and just starts mauling me um i don't know how it happens but he's some like it's 
I know usually you encounter them in like in the forest, but in this area, there's one, and I don't know where it came from, and it always seems to get the drop on me, despite it being the size of a freaking building. So I'm a little on edge here. In any case, there's a couple things we can go after in the, from this location. I'm mainly gonna go. Hmm. How much souls do I have? 1650. So we got a few options. I'm gonna go. this way first. So these eyeball things, you can kill them. I don't th I don't know what they do. Forlorn Hound Evergal. So Evergals uh, will teleport you into this like alternate area and they usually have a boss in it and the boss is usually pretty mean and that's about it. And uh, you can't, uh, I believe you can't summon spirits. Blood Hound Knight Darrell Will. Uh, yep. He teleports, by the way. Did you know he teleports? <laughs> and he can do blood loss in two hits, apparently. So I hit him twice. So yeah, I beat the uh, tar out of him with um, a halberd and had a lot more health. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull this off. And since I've already you know, ruined the no death, um, I'm completely fine with dying. Now the nice thing about this place, though, is you can get your, souls, uh, your runes back easily. All you have to do is just go and grab them before you actually transition. You can just do that and get them back. So there's not really any super risk here. But yeah, unfortunately you can't summon, do any summons here, uh, which sucks. Yeah, you can't do summons here. Got me that time. Right. Didn't know you can do that. Okay, sorry I was in hardcore mode there. Bloodhound, Bloodhound's Fang. So the, te the teleporting could definitely be very intimidating. 
Um, but um, the trick is to not immediately roll, is to wait until he actually does the swing so he can actually avoid the attack. But yeah, that worked out. Uh, we're at 3550. Let's go ahead and just teleport back to here so we can heal up and then spend our, uh, get a level up again. Also take a look at what we got. So level up, ooh. Almost soft cap. And then I'll pro I, I definitely need to work on Vigor next. Get that up and running. Getting some additional mind wouldn't be too bad. I'll probably go 20 vigor and then get mind uh, get mind caught up to 20 as well. Uh, inventory. Bloodhound's Fang, Curved Greatsword. Um, has dex dexterity, uh, C dexterity scaling. Uh, requires 18 strength, 17 dex. Does blood loss. Um, curved greatsword with a gently undulating blade wielded by Bloodhound Knights. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. Unique skill, Bloodhound's Finesse. Slash, it, slash upwards with the Bloodhound's Fang using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault and gain some distance from the foe. Follow up with a strong attack to perform the Bloodhound's Step Attack, which is probably that phase step thing. Alright. So now, uh, we took care of this. Not sure what's around there, but I want to go here because there's a fort here. Hopefully, I don't get mauled by a bear. Like it's the most terrifying thing. Like suddenly a bear would just appear. Like one time it literally faded into existence. It looked like and just appeared behind me. Um, it was a. Uh, very, very scary. <laughs> Especially since I was trying to get back my runes because I think I had died recently. Anyway, we're taking the scenic route here. Um, the reason why is because of that. Uh, there are two casters that will sp spam those shots and those shots will home in on you. Because it's essentially the same spell. But, with a horse... You can deal with them. There you go. Dealt with. Royal House Scroll. This is where you. Can, so this is where you also get the uh, scroll, which you can, which you can turn in for additional spells. Very, very helpful. All right, other mage is up there. I'm not sure if my spell will reach, so we're going to go around the other way. Don't mind me. Coming through. There are archers as well, but they're not as bad. They're nowhere near as bad. Pardon me, sir. Now we can go to town. And go to town we shall. Don't remember if there are wolves here or not. One down. the butterflies. Alright, we're going to deal with you guys next. Q. 
Okay. Uh, since I'm here, let's go. I uh, don't want to break the spirits. We'll make sh sure we clear this place first. Not sure far how how far out I can go. Hello, sir. So he was about to blow the horn. Not that it really matters. I think we killed most of the things here. All right, we're just gonna do that. Lord Sworn's bolts. There's also a chest that we can take advantage of. Oh. One down. Uh, we're just gonna shoot you. these shots. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright. Area taken care of. Don't need you anymore. Chest. It's got a great epi. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, Alright. So, Sorcery Scroll of the Car Carrion Royal Family, the heads of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, can be given to learn sorcerer, uh, to a learned sorcerer to gain access to the following sorceries, Carrion Slicer and Glint Blade Phalanx. Not sure what to expect from that. Uh, also, uh, alright, uh, so this is a great EP, it's a heavy thrusting sword. Uh, D scaling for strength and dex, requires 15 dex and... Uh, 16 decks and 15 strength. Um, large rapier featuring a thin, sharp blade, commonly used in life or death duels. Like its smaller counterparts, it is made for thrusting attacks and can be used while guarding with a shield. Which is actually pretty useful. Uh, skill Impaling Thrust. Um, skill that lets piercing armaments uh, overcome enemy shields. Build power, then lunge for for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Okay. Grab that. And then we're just gonna run up, make a jaunt over here. Starlight shards. An ethereal sliver that gives off a pale blue glow. What remains of a passing of the flash of starlight. We're used to gradually recover FP, a prized item that was once used in the Eternal City as an ingredient in. Intoxicating, intoxicating droughts. So, pretty neat. It's actually up here with all the fancy items, but it does have limits. So, we're not going to mess with it. Behold the light. Indeed. Alright. So, next stop. We're crossing the bridge. That will be our next stop. So I'm just scanning. No sign of giant bear. Uh, there's some things over there, but I'm not going to mess with it for right now. So we can definitely hop around here if we care to.
Alright, so a few things to note about this place. Um, I believe there's a big ballistae that will shoot at us. I don't want to be shot by it. But before we worry about that, I'm kind of just looping around here to see if there's anything of note. It definitely looks like there's places to go. Oh, hey. Did not mean to attract the wolves. Okay. Oh, sucks to be you. Alright, well I got some beast bones out of it at least. So yeah, I was curious about what's over here. But it doesn't look like there's anything that fancy. Hello. Tree? Tree. Yeah, tree. Oh, right. The graveyard thing. So there's wolves here, unfortunately, guarding it. Kind of hard to use, do mounted combat with a short sword, but I'm managing it at least. So yeah, uh, some pretty useful things here. So, uh, so if you hold down the um, the right trigger for your heavy attack while mounted, you'll actually drag your weapon, and it'll actually do extra hits. It's also good for prepping uh, just the attack in general. There we go. Took out you. Tier 3 golden rune, nice. So I said I was going to cross the bridge and immediately got distracted. Welcome to Elden Ring. There's you. I don't want to fight you because you scare me. And fighting you by myself. I mean, I wonder if, how well magic will do against it, but... I don't want to test that theory right now. Alright, let's get back to the bridge. Got a bunch of those uh, fancy uh, runes that we can break in the future, which is pretty helpful. Also at 2150 runes right now, which is not enough for a level up. It's getting close though. All right, so we need to use that tower for cover. Come on over. Yeah, the jumping in place heavy slash is a, a nice little trick. Do this. Yeah. So I don't want to be hit by that, by the way. I drank the wrong potion. <laughs> I lagged, so it decided to delay my input and made me pop a pebble. Also a cat's distracting me. <sighs> so yeah, the issue is not the bolt itself, it's the explosion. <sighs> Alright, so what we're going to do here is a couple of things. One, we're going to summon Two, we're gonna drink. 
three, get cat off desk. And then four, get on mount. And go. Just go. Run, 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 run. There you go. Once we're behind it, we're good. Yeah, once that guy came down, I was good to go. Oh good, I got that first. <laughs> there you go, break your guard. And uh, fully recharge our, our, our vials, good. So yeah, doing that without a mount would be interesting to say the least. Stone sword key, so isn't that our first one? Yeah, it's our first one. Alright. So over here. We're not out of the woods yet. We're out of the woods. Okay. Bye bye, spirits. He helped out a lot, thanks. How much do I need for a level? Uh, yeah, 30, 3395 for we got a while. So yeah, now something to note is this is producing uh, a trail. So this is actually leading us to another piece of the Elden Ring. Not that we're going to do anything about that. We're not ready for that. We're not ready to fight a demigod. Uh, this place does have a bridge. I guess that's something to note. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the bridge we're looking for. Yeah, I don't think it is. Ah, yes. This, this area. I don't know too much about this area. I've only explored bits of it. Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander... I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle, when my soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Sure. I'll deliver the letter. Dearly. Then please, take this. Arena's letter. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Please, if he can be stubborn. But I'm sure he'll come around. So yeah, I don't think there's anything too much about this. Letters give, letter given by Arena addressed to, addressed to her father, the commander of the castle of Castle Morn. Gorgeous silken handkerchief, lightly stained with blood. Words can be made out within. All right. So up ahead. Um, 
up ahead is a danger. There's a giant over there. And dogs and all sorts of, of brutal, nasty things. Terrible dogs. Got these guys here. Don't mind the giant. Don't give it a white bird for now. That's a doggo. Go down. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a heal at this point. but at least I killed it. Alright. So yeah, the giant kind of just leaves you alone. I am going to kill it regardless, but... I can at least do this. Uh, there's a chest open. Morning star. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with this guy. Refresh my stuff, that's good. Okay. Wasn't sure if I had to kill the rest of the mobs. Uh, it probably would have been safer to be mounted for that, but that, that was okay. Also, I do like how you can destroy the environment with your, just your massive battle shenanigans. Golden Rune. Alright. So we're going to switch to two hand. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, one down. Oh, that was risky. Okay, Smithing Stone 2. Uh, we do need two of them if we want to upgrade beyond uh, to get the plus four. Also, we still have to get a smith, which we haven't unlocked yet. So we might soon at this rate. Necessary item up ahead. Pretty sure that's not true, but we'll see. Vision of Scarab. So there's a Scarab that's going to give a, a weapon art there. Oh right, I think you can do this. Get up here. 
Ah, uh, yeah, arter arter arteria leaf. That's probably what I was referencing. Okay, so... Dark red leaves with thick swan veins. Material used for crafting, seemingly rare to find. A faint pulse can be felt in the veins, stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. Um, also, I don't think I ever read this one. Miranda power. Uh, pollen from a man-eating Miranda flower. Material used for crafting items. Throughout history, perfume use have prized this extremely fragrant form of Miranda powder, not yet scattered into the air. That's kind of everything at the moment. So... Next, we're losing our spirits, that's fine. Nope. Gotcha. Okay, mighty shot. Also, I didn't actually read about determination a while back. Alright, get you the quality affinity. Um, knightly skill, hold the flat of the armor to your face and pledge your resolve, powering up your next attack. Usable for every melee armament. Um, Mighty Shot gets you, uh, has no affinity. Uh, Mighty Shot, archery skill performed from the oblique stance, right, ready the bow, then pull the bowstring to its limit to enhance the power of the shot, penetrating the enemy's guard. Usable on light bows and long bows. We're here now. Down there's the map. What do we got here? It's like the mongrel. Owl. Got one of them. A uh, bunch more over here, too. Definitely have a level up now. Rainbow Stone. Skull that I missed, apparently. It's only 200 runes, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. In any case, let's head on this way. I mean, this way. Alright, so a few things of note here. Obviously this. I'm going to go ahead and rest here. Do I want to level up now? Not yet, because there's a merchant nearby. Alright, uh, so we can get a stone sword uh, key here, so that gets us our second one. We can also get a crimson amber medallion, which is the starter item that you could have gotten. As you can see, there's also some hints about demi-human mobs. Um, we also got some stuff on... There's a light crossbow. So, I, I think I talked briefly about crossbows. Uh, they have no scaling, so it's just raw damage. Uh, so as long as you meet the requirements, you can use it. Uh, so this thing has kick attached to it. Uh, ranged weapon made from a bow fixed to a stock. Deals good damage and is simple to use, but requires re reloading after firing. Uh, let's go ahead and get that cracked pot. Uh, red thorn shield. A uh, small wooden round shield is light and easy to handle, but cannot offer the damage negation of a metal shield. The emblem is an ancient thorn design. Though it isn't much, it boosts fire damage negation. Round shield. A, a wooden round shield that has been reinforced with metal. Comparatively light uh, for its size, this shield is easy to handle, but lacks a true metal shield's ability to negate damage. Iron helmet. An iron helmet showing rust on the edges. Cloth covering the mouth and neck provides some resistance to poisons and irritants. Scale armor. Armor reinforced with small metal scales. The cape covering the shoulders is made with treated rock lizard skin and provides ample protection against fire. 
ordinary iron gauntlets, well-made leather trousers. The lower legs are uh, each bound in, uh, in cord for ease of movement. And then crimson amber medallion, medallion uh, that with crimson amber inlaid boosts maximum HP. The earth tree's old sap became, becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey, the, the first Elden Lord. A primordial life energy resides inside. We'll go ahead and grab it. Alright, so we can actually go ahead and swap out this flame drake talisman. Oh, we actually had this uh, roar medallion, which we picked up a while ago from the um, the mine boss. Uh, bronze medallion depicting a roaring giant enhances roar and breath attacks. In ancient times, the giants were mortal enemies of the earth tree. Um, their bellowing roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped up storms of flame. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and equip this. So yeah, this boosts our HP by... It looks like 23, so it's better than nothing, and we don't really have anything better to equip it with, so it's good to go. Um, also, there were some uh, other items. Uh, there were the cloth trousers, trousers made of coarse material commonly worn uh, in the lands between. And then cloth garb, clothing made of coarse material commonly worn in the lands between. So there you go. Alright, so with that, I spent all my souls on items, but that's okay. Also, that's a Black Knight. Another one. Uh, we're going to place a marker. Just as a note. Uh, I do want to go down and get that. So let's do that, hopefully without causing problems for everyone else. Oh, I remember this area. Oh god. Alright. Alright, we're gonna grab the map and go. That's the plan. Oh, missed it, missed it, missed it. Got it. So yeah, um, a giant is shooting death bolts from afar. Um, I can't actually open my map right now because I'm technically in combat. Um, what time of day is it? I can't even check what time of day it is because it's on the map. Um, let's just hope the night's gone because it looks it looks like daytime. If I'm wrong. I am, but I can at least get away by going this way. Okay. Progress. I am still in combat. Uh, resting at the bonfire will reset everything. New map has been found. We can peninsula. So yeah, you might have noticed that the map is actually getting bigger as we're exploring. So even though you see the map edges here, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the edge of the map. Alright, so you can tell from the light that it's, it's probably there that we need to go to. I am a bit curious. So we're right there right now. There's a mine right here that I would like to get to, if I can. Assuming I don't get murdered on the route there. I don't have very many uh, runes, so it's not a big deal if I do die. So that's part sections of wall here. So yeah, that's coming from here, I think, to those shots. That's a, that's a heck of a name. Okay, 
Okay, so we got bats there. We want to go north. Yellow ember. Yellow ember. Oh, hello. Uh, so enemies with gold eyes, I believe, drop more loot. All right, we're just gonna deal with you the old-fashioned. Okay. Fine. Fix your shit. God, that thing hit hard. Dropped a golden rune, though. Yeah, that hit really hard. I was not expecting that much damage. Okay. Uh, let's see what's in here. Hopefully not death. What do you got to say? A liar ahead. Door? Not a door. Noted. No door. Be wary of rat. Well, I already got hit with the rats, but thank you. Okay. Nothing here. Besides what I just got, which we do we can look at at least. Uh yellow ember. Uh an ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. A sign that the deceased suffered from the flame of frenzy. This grape has ripened and burst. We're gonna head up. More. That's another rat down. Eye of Yuglog, whatever that is. More of it. Hello, rat. Bye-bye, rat. So I guess the yellow eyes don't mean the same thing here. The frenzy is terrifying. Okay. Looks like we're heading towards Doom. And looks like the way to get to the mine is being giving a very ballsy jump. Just try to get to that uh, wind current. Could also go down this way. Oh, hello, those plants. I'm familiar with those plants. I know much about those. I know they like to murder. <sighs> I'm not going to take the risk. We'll, we'll do the bridge. We'll try to do the bridge. Hey, it's one of you. Bye. Okay. Well, we're definitely not in aggro range. That's the good news. Alright, cool, the air current actually softened the fall anyway. 
didn't really need it, but we're it's better to be safe. So yeah, I just want to get to the mine. That's all I want. There's something up there. Oh, is that one of the blade birds or is that a bat? Whatever it is, I don't want to be near it. And short crystal, thank you. Morn Tunnel. Tunnel's there. Okay. Definitely don't have enough for a level up. All right. So at this point, I do have. Oh, I only have one of those. So we need another. I suppose I can drop down here. Looks uh, like I can. Why is it always fire? Why is there... What caused death here? Like, all these bloodstains terrify me. Item ahead, yep. My saw. So, kind of similar layout as the previous mine. Kind of bounced off the wall there, that was kind of scary. And now we're down here. Okay, so what sort of things are in here? Tougher goblins, it looks like. Oh, the winged goblin things. Neat. Sniper! So yeah, I could snipe down there. That would actually make my life easier. But I'll worry about that in a bit. Okay. So, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, you survived. That was risky. Smithing stone. No hidden path ahead, thank you. Don't really need to know that though. So most thing the main thing I'm concerned about is what the boss is here. I have no idea. Like I have no clue. I'm glad I have a jump button, but it still terrifies me. Cleaver. All right, well, let's end this with one last reading here. Iron Cleaver. C strength scaling, E dex scaling, 15 strength, 7 dex required. Uh, fairly large Iron Cleaver, commonly used by the maltreated, misbegotten, 
Um, steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung wildly and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. Wild strikes, swing armament with wild abandon, hold to continue swinging, can be followed up with a normal or strong attack. And there you go. Be wary of left. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I am the Depressed Eeyore. This is Elden Ring. I'll see you guys later.